former Fox News host Tucker Carlson believes he knows the reason he was fired from the network, and if he is correct, it is massive news. He has not said anything to his fans, but he appears to believe that the Murdoch family is planning on selling the network, Vanity Fair reported. Carlson has told people he doesn't know why he was terminated. According to the source, Scott refused to tell him how the decision was made. She only said that it was made from above. Carlson has told people he believes his controversial show is being taken off the air because the Murdoch children intend to sell Fox News at some point. It said, Carlson, the highest-rated cable news host in history, is out at Fox News. And now a new report sheds light on who made the final decision to cut ties with Carlson. A new report reveals that Lachlan Murdoch, the chief executive of Fox Corporation, and Suzanne Scott, chief executive of Fox News Media, decided on Friday night to fire Carlson. Then, Scott informed Carlson on Monday morning of the decision. The power that Mr. Carlson, 53, wielded outside Fox News could not insulate him from a growing list of troubles inside the network related to his conduct on and off the air, some of which had been grating on Mr. Murdoch and his father, Rupert Murdoch, the chairman of Fox Corporation, who co-founded the network in 1996, according to the two people with knowledge of the company's decision. The New York Times reported. The host, a polarizing and unpopular figure at the network outside of his own staff, was exposed as part of a defamation lawsuit by Dominion Voting Systems as a bully who denigrated colleagues and sources, often in profane and sexist language and called for the firing of Fox journalists whose coverage he disliked. He has also drawn condemnation from the right and left for his role in fostering a revisionist account of the assault on the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021 the outlet added. The NYT report then suggests Carlson's segment detailing the riot at the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021, was a point of contention. One early point of contention was Mr. Carlson's 2021 documentary, Patriot Purge, which advanced the conspiracy theory that the attack that day was a so-called false flag operation designed to discredit the former president and his political movement. Lachlan Murdoch was said to have been caught off guard by the program, which also led two conservative Fox News contributors to quit in protest, Jonah Goldberg and Stephen Hayes, the NYT reported. In March, Mr. Carlson edited down tens of thousands of hours of footage from the attack given to him by Speaker Kevin McCarthy and used them to falsely portray the rioters as people Mr. Carlson called mostly peaceful onlookers who had innocently ambled into the Capitol. The broadcast drew a rebuke from Senator Mitch McConnell, who is a friend of Rupert Murdoch's and said Mr. Carlson had drawn offensive and misleading conclusions. The outlet continued. Fox News announced on Monday morning that Carlson and the network have agreed to part ways after more than a decade. In a statement read on, outnumbered, host Harris Faulkner briefly stated that the network will have a series of rotating hosts to fill Carlson's 8 p.m. slot. Fox said Carlson's last show aired Friday and that starting Monday night, the network will have an interim show with rotating Fox News personalities until a new host is named. Fox released a statement on the situation. Carlson's last program was Friday, April 21st, Fox News said, meaning Carlson did not get a chance to sign off to his viewers. The news comes days after Fox News reached a historic 11th-hour settlement with Dominion Voting Systems for over $787 million, Axios reported. Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways. We thank him for his service to the network as a host and prior to that as a contributor. Mr. Carlson's last program was Friday, April 21st. Fox News Tonight will air live at 8 p.m. slash ET starting this evening as an interim show helmed by rotating Fox News personalities until a new host is named, Fox News said in a statement. Fox News made headlines last week when it announced that host Dan Bongino had parted ways with the news network in what is a stunner to his fans and fans of the top-rated cable giant. Folks, regretfully, last week was my last show on Fox News on the Fox News channel.
the host said on his podcast Thursday Variety reported. It's tough. It's tough to say that. You know, I've been there doing hits and working there for ten years, so the show ending was tough. And I want you to know it's not some big conspiracy. I promise you. There's no acrimony. This wasn't some WWE brawl that happened. We just couldn't come to terms on an extension. We thank Dan for his contributions and wish him success in his future endeavors, the network said. It said it will air Lawrence Jones Cross Country, in place of Bongino's show until the network announces a new schedule.